welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a mum of three from the UK. And today's home education video is a follow on from last week's Reading Eggs promotion. Um, this video is not part of the promotion, it's just footage I couldn't fit in. Um, I know that um, lots of you like seeing all of the children, not just one or two of them, and of course we couldn't leave Albert out. Albert had a really great time with his Reading Eggs workbooks, and here they are. And I really wanted to show you the footage and a flick through so you can see them. They also do a year R, they do the year R, they also do a year one and a year two book. I'm hoping that they may bring out further books in the future as the programme is for older children. Like to, with reading eggs and to go with the math seeds, it would be really great if they brought those out I think because I'm pretty sure I would use them interchangeably. I'm not sure it would drag me away from power maths, but you never know. <laughs> so here's Albert, uh, here's the flick through of the books, and then here's Albert giving them a go for the very first time. So here is Albert's book that I was showing you about. This is 240 Essential Reading Skills for Reception, and it's got the whole contents page here. It's also got a year planner, suggests so it shows you when you should do, suggests when you should do things, and what what's in each map, what's in each lesson. It gives you some success tips, shows you the alphabet, and then it starts up with some warm ups, and then it goes on to lesson one. So as you can see, you've just got a couple of tracings to do here, compared to Jolly Phonics where you had. You know, you had eight to do and then you had to do loads on your own. It's just easing them in gently with colouring. And then you've just got some pre-handwriting things, some tracing words. And everything is a little bit different. So it's not just the same thing over and over again, which is what I found with Jolly Phonics. It was just really repetitive, um, that, but no differentiation at all. And I think that's what I like about these books is that they're all, you know, you've got that little bit of difference. Um, that just makes, I think it makes the difference for someone who's four. So then you've got lesson one and you don't have to do, you know, the whole thing. Also, there's my jazzy again. You don't have to do, um, you know, the whole thing in one go. You can just do a page a day and work through it. So if you do it online first and then this is what we're going to do. We're going to do it online first and then we're going to come back and do the workbook. So it's just refreshing their memory, refreshing his memory of what he's done on the on the laptop or on the tablet. Jazzy really likes to come say hi to you, doesn't she, everybody? So then it moves on to so M, S, I, A, B and so on. <laughs> Hello, Jazzy. And we get, okay, that's enough. Go on. Off you go. So then it also moves on to um, I am. So you're beginning to look at sight words, which I think is really important to bring in at the same time. And then you've got handwriting and eventually you have a quiz. And I think this is really important to kind of see how they're getting on, especially when they're learning to read, you know, that you need to go back and check on something or, um, you know, maybe practice it a little bit more. And if you look at this, so by the time they're at lesson 10, they should be able to read these sentences and then know which ones um, to draw a line to. And I think that's really, really great. And there's even a little certificate that you can do. You can um, you can have there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to photocopy this page and then I will, um, when he's finished, and then um, fill it in and then he can have it on his wall in his bedroom or we can put it in his folder. And then you have a little game, which is great. You've got this little game. Here, a little word search for finding the letter M, a dot to dot, and even a little um, find it like Bessie just showed you as well. And then it moves on to the next one, and that goes all the way through, and it slowly gets more and more um, harder, Like, but it's all in line with what they're doing on reading eggs, so it's very gentle, there's no big... Um, big jumps and there's plenty of fun and certificates and hidden pictures and all sorts of things going all the way through to the end and then you've got reviews so this you could say that this is a bit like a um, a test at the end but it's very gentle you don't have to um, have to make it out like a test it's just you know do a page at a time 
and then um, and then you know that once you've done this level less than 60 all the way you've got a quiz you've got the quiz here and then you've got the certificate and a fun thing and then you've got the whole thing and you can say at the end of your time you've done the whole thing and um, and it shows it shares you a little thing about why reading eggs is so good and it says here that it's you know it's not just great for children who are being home educated if you're using if you're at school if your child's at school or you still have a child at school it's great for those too it supports their school learning as well as the things that we do in home education and we also you can go down to even two-year-olds can use it because of the reading eggs junior but it says here look they've got some a little little bar graph here and it says that in the, the year level, 46% of children were underneath it, and 54% of children were at working at their year level or above, and then after six weeks of reading eggs, only 27% of children were still working below their year level, and but now 73% were working above, and that's certainly been the same for our children. So before Albert comes up, I will just show you the maths book as well. So again, starts off, with the contents and the year planner which I really really appreciate I really like it um, and then it kind of talks to you a little bit about supporting their learning and how you can um, do extra maths activities and then it begins with the number one you've got number two and then you do so you've got some shapes colors and it goes all the way through and again the same the format is the same you have a quiz at the end of end of the map and you have a nice certificate and then something fun to do and then it goes on all the way through in the same format and again you have a nice certificate at the end and it's got some multi-sensory activities that you can do these are for pages 28 page 60 84 91 and all of these things that you can cut out so a little bit more interactive from you as the parent you've got to do something there but i feel like if you just do them at the beginning of each week as part of maybe your week prep then mm. okay so i got you a pen so, oh, mm. so brightly colored isn't it Where's the first page? What number are we doing today? What? Number one. Okay, so you take your pen and you can do as many pages as you would like to do. You can either do just one or you can do two or you can do all of them. It's up to you. So, oh, two. Okay, which pictures have a number one? Can you match them to the number one? So, what about this one? Is this a one or is it two or is it three? What have you got? One. One. So can you draw a line to the number one? Yeah. Yeah. Just to the number one. That's it. What about this? Is this is this one? No. No? How many is there? Three. Three. So that doesn't go in there, does it? That. That's one. What about this? Is that two or one or four two. or ten? Two. What about this one? How many is there? One. How many is here? One. Well done. So can you can you colour in every number one? We've only got a pen right now, haven't we? I can just go up, up, up. Oh yeah. Up, 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 up. up. Your hair went in my eye. Sorry, Mama. That's no, okay. It wasn't your fault. I did, I'm just looking. So there's a number one. Are there any more number ones? Another one. <laughs> Another one. One. <laughs> Any more? What about this one? What's that one? What, two. That's two. Oh, okay. Good job. You knew where all the number ones were. And you've already done your number one lesson on math seeds, haven't you? So the next one is, when you're ready, circle one star. So you just got to find one star and circle it. Okay. You did it! So this one says, draw one flower in the plant pot. Can you draw a nice flower? I can't do that. Okay, what well, do you want to try? Do you want to look at this flower here? You could copy it if you felt like you wanted to. So great. So we need to do a stalk yeah. and then the flower at the top with all the petals. Oh, I know. Oh, the leaves. Oh, good point. I had missed the leaves. Those are good leaves. I like that. And then the flower with the petals and the seeds in the top. See? That's a great flower. And then how do I make the 
make the inside like yeah. and color. I'll oh, color on the inside. Yeah, so it's like the, the nectar. I love your flower. So it's, like, it's the, like the nectar. So if the busy bee comes along, it bzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
Okay, and then you've got flag, be, mama. Mm -hmm. Flag, be, mama. Mama! Yay! Yay. Clap for you. We all clap, Albert. Yay! There he is. Isn't he adorable? He absolutely kicked the M page. He really, really is loving writing and he's loving learning to read. Um, I think he is, is, he's just doing so well. Much like Charles when he was his age, they just, he's just soaking it all in. I, I expect in about six months time when he hits five, he may have a bit of disequilibrium or if he hit, when he hits five and a half, he might have a bit of disequilibrium and he may not be so interested for a little while. Um, but I'm hoping that um, it'll be less learning to read then and more practicing to read so we'll see he's very keen to be reading now and um, I'm just following his interest if he wants to take a break then we'll do that and we'll do something else and that's fine but for now he's really really keen and reading eggs is helping him with that so those of you who recommended when I talked in videos previously about what curriculum I was thinking of for Albert Loads of you said reading eggs, reading eggs, reading eggs, reading eggs from and not just in the UK but in other countries as well. You all said look up reading eggs, do reading eggs with him, ju or just do reading eggs, don't do anything else. So that's what we're doing so far and it's working really, really well. So thank you so much for that recommendation. Uh, I will see you on Wednesday for another video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!